Hello my friends and I am here with you today to share with you my first June Spiegel Mom Scraps project for this month and I have used a little bit of a sketch here for some inspiration as well. One of the lovely sketches by my dear friend Shannon from She's Crafty who's a fellow sparkler as well and I used one of the sketches that she used in um, the Lucky 7 Stash Bash class. So I'm not going to show you the sketch in case you're not in the class, but if you are in the class, you will see a little bit of the inspiration. In the end, it went a different way because my original idea with this was to line some of these hexagons, these smaller hexagons, with some sequins uh, to have sort of a little bit of a Broadway billboard effect and then have some of those popping down from the photo and up from the photo. But, it, but when I sort of started putting the sequins and organizing them to cover up the hexagons and give a sequin hexagon shape, I, I didn't like the way it came out. I think these hexagons are a little too small. So my idea, and maybe I'll pop back in here in between or use it as part of my next project, is to go with some large hexagons. And I think maybe I would do like a one inch strip of sequins and do a beautiful large hexagon frame. What do you think of that? Let me know down below. Now, I definitely already have the idea of this one lovely line of, of sequins to frame everything and again as I said to give a little bit of the idea of a bit of a Broadway sort of billboard or announcement board um, so I did do that now I've used again because of course um, my my goodie bag and now bags are still on their way and kicking up their heels somewhere I, I swear poor Jody, what a nightmare. She's been working so hard with, you know, trying to track things down. Everything just seems to be, for the mo moment, enjoying the Windy City. I, I guess whenever it decides to stop whooping it up, and perhaps when more of our things are open up here, it'll decide to come and party up here with me. It'll get here. And when it does, it'll be just that much more amazing. But what I used on here, I mainly used toes in the sand because I wanted to pick up this sort of lovely blue and a little bit of a, a teal color in here. I wanted to pick up as well the sort of corally uh, peachy color and then of course the darker brown. So that was the first one that I got to. Now this is no longer available in the shop but one that really would do an amazing job a little bit different but in a way very very similar is is it spring yet and that is still available in the shop and by the way this was designed by my lovely friend crystal from pineapple papers so is it spring yet you can definitely get that over in the shop don't forget to use my code moira15 to get 15 percent off and if you use the affiliate link that i have down below that will give me a little bit of a commission without costing you any more. So I use toes in the sand, but is it spring yet? Would definitely do, and it is over in the shop. And I popped in a little tiny bit of Autumn Joy, more in this sort of coppery color, because the actual um, peach in this color was just a little little transparent so I wanted to get a little bit of a deeper color and then I went into Belle's Ball for the flat golden sequins and got those on the page and for these again different but that would be lovely with some gorgeous gorgeous yellows and a little bit of teal is simply the zest and I can't wait that one's on its way way to me for sure and I can't wait to get it because it will match the simple stories lemon twist beautifully so when I decided that I didn't like the whole hexagon thing I left the hexagons there because one they were down 
and they add, and I like the pops of color that then allowed me to use all the different colors in these gorgeous sequins here. And then I decided to just sprinkle them as though they were little sprinkling fairy lights all down this area of the layout. And I love it. It sort of frames everything and it gives a bit of a whimsical, fun, summery feel. Uh, I just used the same two pattern papers that I framed my photos in, did a little bit of tearing on the bottom of this one. I have this scrap from uh, the Heidi Swap Old School on my desk. I tore it to give an extra little bit of a layer. This is on Gellert Hill in Budapest, so overlooking the river and over, this is on the Pest side overlooking Buda, so I thought that was fun to get a little telescope in here. So I popped that up, uh, the bottom part here is on foam, and the rest I was just using bits from my scrap bowl. Um, if you remember, I fussy cut tons and tons of these, a whole sheet from the Paige Evans Wonders collection. These lovely tags that my dear friend Helen uh, from the UK had sent to me, and I still had the Bare Basics in the darker wood. I've used up, she sent me two, one which was uh, a, a much paler color, and I only have, I think, maybe two or three of those left, but I still had quite a few of the darker ones, so I got that into my little areas, and I put two of these wooden dots with one sequin in each of those little clusters just to finish up my frame. And did I mention that the back here was sassafras? I think I did. I think I mentioned that the back here was sassafras. So I love this layout. It will have a companion page. So maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I should make the companion page with two other monuments, the Liberty statue and another one from that same visit. And maybe that's where I should do that large hexagon. Tell me down below what you think. And once again, as I said, I use some older, beautiful sequin mixes that I have in my stash. I have a large stash, so even if this stuff is taking a little while to get to me, no, no worries. But if you want something similar, is it spring yet? Simply the Zest. They are both in the shop. Use my code, Moira15. And if you would be so kind to click the affiliate link down below to do that, to bring a little bit of a commission to me that helps me continue my own um, channel and doesn't cost you anything more. And I will be back later in the month with another lovely Spiegel Mom Scraps project. And of course, in the meantime, please don't forget to come back here often, often throughout the month because many of my fellow lovely, talented, sparkler friends are here bringing you the most amazing projects as well. I will see you back here very soon. Thank you, my friends. Bye for now.